Philips provides a range of Respironix masks for non-invasive ventilation. Respironix masks are designed to support enhanced non-invasive ventilation. From comfort for the patient to ease of use for the clinicians, these masks are specifically designed to meet the rigors of acute care environments. The options include total face masks, oronasal masks, and nasal masks. When selecting the right mask for your patient, consider these factors. Application, the need for oral access, access for other procedures, and patient characteristics such as mouth breathing, claustrophobia, facial abnormalities, and lack of teeth. In some studies, up to 50% of the non-invasive ventilation failures result from the mask, so choosing the right mask is critical. And when choosing a mask or devising a mask rotation strategy, it's important to select a product that helps avoid the adverse effect of skin redness where the mask comes into contact with the patient. Excessive pressure and poor fitting may lead to skin irritation as well as hospital-acquired pressure ulcer, which may affect patient comfort, may alter therapy outcome, and may add significant cost to the healthcare system. In this program, we'll introduce the various mask options available from Philips and how a combination of these options can be used to effectively deliver non-invasive ventilation, improve comfort by reducing over-tightening, and help reduce skin irritation issues. When combining use of the different style masks presented in this program, you can devise an ideal mask rotation strategy that helps reduce the chance of developing skin ulcers while offering options that address the care cycle from acute care to the conclusion of ventilation treatment to a transition home. Total face masks provide a great option for those in acute distress arriving in the emergency department where there's a need to achieve a quick fit to begin non-invasive ventilation. Philips offers two options for total face masks, the Respironix Total and Performax. Both designs provide a seal around the perimeter of the face where patients have less pressure sensitivity and smoother facial contours. This allows for a quick fit as well as eliminating the pressure on the bridge of the nose. The Total comes one size fits most, while the Performax comes in small, large, extra large, and two pediatric sizes. We'll cover the pediatric version in the pediatric section of this program. Both adult-style masks include four-point headgear. These masks provide a clear, unobstructed view, which may help reduce feelings of claustrophobia. They are also well-suited for patients who are mouth breathers, possess facial abnormalities, or lack teeth. The total comes with an entrainment elbow that is not removable. The Performax can be used with several different elbows dependent on application. Oronasal masks, the most common style used with non-invasive ventilation, provide a useful option in a variety of settings such as acute or chronic respiratory situations, patients with obstructive sleep apnea, or special needs such as patients with skin breakdown risks, mouth breathers, the presence of facial hair, or the lack of teeth. Philips offers four options for oronasal masks, the Respironix AF421, AF531, AF811, and the PerformaTrack. Oronasal masks cover the nose and mouth. To accommodate different size patients, all four masks come in small, medium, and large, while the AF421 also includes an extra-large size. The AF421 and AF531 include a clean clip shell. This provides a spot to store the mask when it's not in use, such as during mask rotation or during oral care for the patient, and may help reduce unintended contamination. Each of the masks are available with various elbow configurations. The AF421, AF811, and the PerformaTrack non-removable elbows can be ordered with a SE, standard elbow, and EE, entrainment elbow, leak one, while the AF421 is also available with an EE, Entrainment Elbow Leak 2. The AF531 has removable elbows for changing ventilation functionality without having to change masks. It allows use of Entrainment Elbows Leak 1 and Leak 2, the Standard Elbow, the Bronchoscopy Elbow, or the Nebulizer Elbow. 
Headgear packaged with the AF421 is a four-point with talon clips with a basic oral access feature. The AF531, AF811, and PerformaTrack are all available with a cap strap. It provides an excellent fit and simple reapplication as the mask is removed and reinstalled during therapy. The cap strap also allows for easy oral access by simply removing the mask's bottom straps and lifting the mask temporarily off the patient's face. The Performa Track is also available with four-point headgear, equipped with a dual-density foam forehead pad. Nasal-only masks offer a good option for those patients with chronic respiratory disease who are improving or patients who have obstructive sleep apnea and desire a non-invasive ventilation interface comparable in comfort to what they use at home. Philips offers two masks for adult use in this category, the Respironics Contour Deluxe and the AP111. The Respironics Contour Deluxe includes a dual-density foam forehead pad that provides comfort and stability. The hook and loop grab tabs allow for quick removal and adjustment of the four-point headgear. This mask is available in petite, small, and medium-large. The Respironics Contour Deluxe comes in a standard elbow version only. Though on oronasal masks, the standard elbow is used with dual limb, the Contour Deluxe SE elbow can be used with single limb. The Respironix AP111 is an under-the-nose, cradle-style nasal cushion mask. Patients can wear their glasses with this mask and have an unobstructed view. It offers an easy fit, and each mask kit is supplied with all four cradle sizes. It's typically used for someone accustomed to non-invasive ventilation therapy and offers the patient additional comfort during their hospital stay. Philips offers two options for pediatric applications in non-invasive ventilation therapy, the PN831 nasal gel mask and the pediatric Performax. Both masks provide for single use in the hospital institutional environment only and are ideally suited for patients where CPAP or bi-level therapy has been prescribed. The PN831 is ideal for pediatric patients who are institutional have chronic respiratory failure, or have sensitive skin. Its gel cushion provides comfort for the patient, while the soft cap improves mask stability. It comes in a single size and is configured with a leak-4 vented elbow only. The Respironix Pediatric Performax is a total style face mask and covers the eyes, nose, and mouth. It offers an effective choice for non-invasive ventilation therapy when a total style mask can be tolerated. It also offers a benefit for patients that are mouth breathers, claustrophobic, or have any facial abnormalities. It has a soft silicon cushion for comfort and a clear shell for easy patient viewing. It comes with four-point bonnet-style headgear and has a soft inner lining. The Respironix Pediatric Performax comes in two sizes, extra small and double extra small. It includes a clean clip shell to enhance infection control. The Respironix Pediatric Performax can be used with Entrainment Elbow Leak 2, a standard elbow, or a bronchoscopy elbow. After selecting the appropriate mask, you may then need to choose the correct elbow. The elbow choice of the mask is critical to the operation of the ventilation system being used, rebreathing of CO2, medication delivery, and even bronchoscopy procedures while patient is receiving NIV. Philips offers a choice of four elbow options, standard, entrainment, nebulizer, and bronchoscopy. Selecting the appropriate elbow is an important part of delivering the right therapy to your patient. The SE, or standard elbow, is blue and does not have an entrainment valve. It is designed for use with ICU ventilators that use a dual limb circuit. You may also encounter the standard elbow on nasal only masks. The EE or entrainment elbow is designed for use with dedicated non-invasive ventilators using a single limb circuit. The entrainment valve in the elbow is closed to the atmosphere by continuous flow from the ventilator during normal operation. 
In the unlikely event that the ventilator fails, the entrainment valve will open, allowing the patient to breathe room air through the open valve and exhale through the same valve. The NE, or nebulizer elbow, accommodates a Nevo aerosol generator, or nebulizer. The nebulizer elbow is available in either EE, entrainment elbow, or SE, standard elbow configurations. The Nevo aerosol generator may remain attached to the elbow or can be easily removed between treatments. The BE, or bronchoscopy elbow, allows a bronchoscopy procedure while continuing non-invasive ventilation therapy. It is a temporary elbow and does not have an entrainment valve, meaning a caregiver must be present at the bedside during use. In this presentation, we demonstrate two steps associated with the ventilator setup using the Philips V60, mask selection, and exhalation port selection. For additional information about setting up the ventilator, you should consult the V60 instructions for use. Pairing the appropriate mask best suited for your patient with a dedicated non-invasive ventilator like the V60 creates a system to provide ease of setup for non-invasive ventilation success. To begin, touch the menu key on the Philips V60, then select mask slash port. Locate the leak symbol on your mask. It may appear on the mask or on the elbow depending on the specific Philips mask. Using the arrow keys, select that setting on the V60. When using a non-respironix mask, select Other setting in the mask slash ET selection window. Please note that the patient leak valve is now displayed as total leak. Selecting one of the respironix mask symbols when using a non-respironix mask may lead to erroneous patient leak readings and is not recommended. When using Philips masks with a Philips ventilator, the ventilator calculates and displays patient leak. This provides the clinician with usable information to better fit the mask for optimal patient comfort and to provide more efficient ventilation. A better fitting mask that's not too tight may help reduce the development of a hospital-acquired pressure ulcer. However, when using a competitive mask, total leak is displayed. After selecting your mask slash patient interface type, the next step is to select the desired exhalation port type. During non-invasive ventilation, exhaled gas exits the patient's circuit through the exhalation port. Filtration of this port may reduce cross-contamination risks to surrounding family and caregivers. This circuit provides that protection. Select the appropriate exhalation port. If you select an exhalation port that is not compatible with the selected mask, this message appears on screen. Choosing PEV or other for an exhalation port means it's recommended that you perform an exhalation port test. Consult the V60 instructions for information about how to perform this test. Innovation and you. Philips.